everyone! Welcome to Global Cuisine Hong Kong. Um, today, I am going to make a cottage pie again, but this time I'm going to make it a big batch. Uh, gagawa po ako ng cottage pie, uh, pero maramihan na po ito. Yung kumbaga uh, malaking batch na ang aking gagawin na cottage pie. So I'm going to show you guys the uh, in main ingredients that we need for this recipe. Papakita ko po sa inyo kung ano po yung ating main ingredients na kakailanganin. So right in front of me, I've got two and a half kilos of uh, New Zealand men's beef. Dalawang, dalawang kilo kalahati po yan na men, New Zealand men's beef po kasi maramihan na nga po ang aking lulutuin ngayon. At sampung piraso pong patatas and 10 pieces of uh, potatoes. Uh, they were about um, semi-medium to semi-large size. So yan po ang ating main uh, ingredients. So, dito guys, kasi um, nagpunta ko ng supermarket kanina, uh, wala silang stock na tomato sauce at saka tomato paste. So, ang aking gagawin ngayon ay gagawa ako ng homemade. Homemade na tomato sauce or tomato paste. So, yan po ang aking, ating kakailanganin. Um, it's uh, tomatoes. They were about... Um, uh, about half, uh, one kilos and uh, two slices of lemon at uh, ipapakita ko po sa inyo kung ano po yung aking gagawin sa aking homemade na tomato paste or tomato sauce. Those are the following ingredients that we need to make the cottage pie guys. As you can see right in front of me. So guys, uh, I wanted to show you those ingredients right in front of me. We need a uh, ground black pepper, pamintang durog po. Um, all purpose flour. About um, four tablespoon of uh, all purpose flour. And four tablespoon of lee and parents. And we need uh, one tablespoon of salt. And we need uh, about um, five or six tablespoons of olive oil and we need uh, four sprigs of fresh rosemary and we need uh, three pieces of dried leaves and we need uh, one just one sachet of uh, seasoning and we need an um, oxo beef cubes you can uh, found it in the um, supermarket where they, uh, the area is around the, uh, the spices area or the dry goods area. And also we need a uh, one fourth cup of uh, um, garlic chop and one and one cup in one cup and three fourth of a. Uh, red onion chop and also we, we will need a, a, a water in there about uh, let's say three pints of water I'm going to show it to you later guys of, of uh, how to do this uh, lovely uh, cottage pie because they were uh, they were in a large malak malaking batch po ito na aking uh, gagawin ngayon so that's all the ingredients guys that we need for making the cottage pies. For the ingredients for a uh, uh, mashed potato that we are going I'm going to make later, we will need a uh, cheddar cheese. Kahit ano pong cheese, uh, pwede naman po. Uh, parmesan cheese, kung meron kayo, pwede rin po yun. Kahit hindi po cheddar. And all sort of butter, kahit ano pong butter. And full cream milk. And nutmeg. Ground nutmeg. Yes. And salt. And black, ground black pepper. Pamintang durog po. So, 
those are very simple those are the following uh, ingredients for um, to top up for adding into the mashed potatoes later once the potato is cooked we will need we will need those ingredients guys so first of all guys kakailanganin po natin ang food processor uh, ayan po siya ibababa ko po ng konti yung camera para makita ninyo ito po yung aking food processors yan ngayon ang gagawin po natin what i am going to do is um, to put the my fresh tomato cut tomato in there Wag po nating biglain, unti-unti lang po natin. Uh, little by little or step by step. Yes. So, ang gagawin ko lang po dito, I'm putting it into this container. Ilalagay ko lang po siya dito sa container na yan. Oops. Okay lang po yan. And then, next batch. Salin lang po natin sa lalagyan. This is okay now and we can just put it aside first. Because we are going to use it later. Kasi talaga pong uh, I run out of uh, the supermarket has uh, run out of the stock of the tomato sauce and tomato paste. So I have to make my homemade tomato sauce or tomato paste. So this is it guys. So, what will be the next? I'm going to show you. I'm going to put a one whole lime. So, one whole lime. Fine. And another one. And let's stir it. Haluin lang po natin siya. Gamit ang tinidor. Okay. 
din. Okay na po ito. So, yeah. I've got a, uh, uh, my homemade tomato sauce or tomato paste. So, it's that simple, guys. So, guys, um, i-open ko lang po yung aking uh, stove on a high heat. I'm going to open my my flame on a high put it on a high heat and my large wok is in here. What I am going to do is just to saute the men's beef first until it changes to brown color. So what I'm going to do is to put an olive oil in here. So, as they are uh, marami-rami, I'm going to put a uh, 3 tablespoon of olive oil in here. Because uh, they are quite uh, they are quite a lot. 2.5 kilos of men's beef, guys. So, 3 tablespoon of olive oil. And then, painitin lang po natin ito. Antayin po natin na uminit. Tapos, pag uminit na po, ilalagay ko na po yung uh, minced beef dito. Uh, we are, uh, as I put, as I put the, the uh, 3 tablespoon of uh, olive oil, guys, into the large wok, into my large wok. I am waiting for it to get hot. And then, once that the oil is get hot, I'm going to put the minced beef in there to saute it until it, it changed to a uh, brown color the, the the meat so as you can as we can see the pan is hot so what I'm going to do is to distribute the meat in there one by one Lagay ko lang po yung aking men's beef dyan. So, mainit na po yung kawali. At mainit na rin po yung mantika. Haluin lang po natin. Let's, let's stir it guys. kita po na ninyo na mapulang mapula pa yung uh, ano niya yung uh, karne you can see guys that the meat the, the men's beef is very 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 red so we have to saute it until it changes to brown color so we have to stir it occasionally to prevent it from burning because uh, um the uh the flame is on a high heat at the moment. I put it on a high heat. Keep on stirring, guys, like that. So 
I keep on uh, carry on stirring until it changed to brown color the meats. So let's uh, just uh, continuously to stirring it, occasionally stirring it. Ayo po kasi natin na masunog. We are preventing that the bottom will be burn guys so we have to uh, occasionally stirring it dahil nga po sa maramihan ang aking niluto isa malaking batch na po ito na, nilu na niluluto po na cottage pie pag hindi naman po naubos ito pwede naman pong ilagay sa freezer or sa rep sa pinakamalamig po na compartment tapos po iinit-initin na lang po ninyo iinit-initin na lang po natin lalo na po sa mga busy people um, walang time sila na ano iinit-initin na lang um, as I am cooking I am making a big batch of a cottage pie we, if we can't finish it we can uh, uh, keep it inside the fridge and then we can reheat it so especially all those uh, uh, busy busiest people around there so um, it's a good call that you can reheat it you can put it inside the oven to reheat it again so it does not make any difference so continuously stir let's stir it So, um, nakikita po ninyo na nagkulay brown na siya. See? Nawala na yung kula. So, uh, you can see guys that it changed to brown color now. It's not red at all. Right? So, what I am, go I am, what I am going to do with it next is to put it first into a container I'm going to show you how so guys um, pwede naman natin hindi na lang hanguin ilalagay ko lang ito um, I'm just putting it aside ilalagay ko lang po ito ililipat ko lang po sa container dito po sa shallow dish brush ko ayan the large pan. Ibabalik po natin ang kawali dito. Ano? Ngayon, maglalagay lang po ako sa aking kawali ng One, two, three, four tablespoon of olive oil. Yes, guys. Four tablespoon po ng olive ng olive oil po. And then, painitin lang po natin ito. Let's make it up a, a little bit hot. Not too too hot hot. Let's put the onion. Isosote lang po natin ang ating onion ng 2 to 3 minutes. Let's sote the onion for 2 to 3 minutes.
So, um, the two to three minutes is over, guys. What will be the next? A garlic. Yes? Chopped garlic. Let's add the garlic in there. And let's follow the three pieces of ba dried bay leaves. One, two, three. Tatlo pong bay leaves. At paghahaluin lang po natin sila. Let's sauté them together, those ingredients, guys. So after two to three minutes of sautéing the the fresh garlic that I put. Pagkatapos po nating isute ng 2 to 3 minutes po yung garlic na yung ano po, yung bawang po na nilagay ko ay ilalagay na po natin ang karne. We're going to put the minced beef in there together. And let's saute them together. Be careful. Dahan-dahan lang po para hindi po tumilapon ang karne. Uh, be careful when you're pouring it into the into the wok, into the large wok, so it won't spill into the side. So this is, uh, as you can see, of what I am doing. And let's uh, stir it to combine those uh, garlic and then the, uh, the, red, the onion and then the bay leaves together. Haluin lang po natin ito na karne sa para po ma, ma iha, mahalo po sa nilagay po natin na bawang at saka po sibuyas at saka po yung dried bay leaves di po ba? So, haluin lang po natin siya ng uh, mga few minutes lang po. Tapos, mayroon na po tayong gagawing step dyan. Next, next step na po. Makikita po ninyo sa harapan na to ay ano po, a uh, jug with water. So this is a uh, equivalent to um um ganyan lang po muna karami saka po tayo magdadagdag ng tubig. So tubig lang po ito. Ang gagawin ko po dito ay ilalagay ko po diyan yung tat tatlo pong piraso na Oxo cubes. Ito po. Oxo cubes. Just for reference po, ito po yun. Ito po. Oxo. Oxo cube po. Ang nakalagay dyan. So, bali po ang laman niya ay ito po. Ito po siya. So, lalagyan ko lang po ito ng tatlo. So, you can see guys. This is a Oxo cube, right? You can find it in a fusion or in a welcome in your local supermarket where they sell the imported products in a dried area, in a spices area. You can find this. I'm sure of it. So, I'm going to put uh, what is inside of it is this one. It's this one. So, I'm going to put three cubes in there. So, this is one in my hands. I'm going to crush it now at the moment. I am crushing it and then pouring it into the jug of water. And then we'll, the next move is the corn starch. So sorry, uh, all-purpose flour. We need to put about one 
This is all-purpose flour, guys. All-purpose flour po. So, one tablespoon, two, three, four tablespoon of all-purpose flour, guys. Four tablespoon, okay? And what we're going to do next, we have to stir it. Whisk it. Kung wala naman po kayong whisk, pwede pong gawa, gamitin yung ay tinidor. If you don't have a tinid, uh, if you don't have a whisk po. If you, uh, yes. But for me, whisk is uh, much uh, easier for me to use. So, gaganitohin lang po natin siya. Haluin muna natin ito kasi baka nagaano yung ilalim. Yan. Yan guys, nakikita po ninyo. So, I am going to stir it properly. So once that you stir it properly, then we have to pour this broth, beef broth in there. We call it stock. So guys, what I am going to do here, I'm going to pour my beef broth in there. So, huwag na po kayong magagila pa ng uh, broth. Yan na lang po ang inyong gamitin. So, two pints. So, I add one more pint of water. Saka po natin, next one is my rosemary. Put rosemary sprigs in there about about that much so that will be enough that will be enough and what we're going to do with this I am going to put a salt uh, lalagyan ko po muna ng salt ito ng mga 1 tablespoon muna. So, 1 tablespoon of salt, guys. And let's put the lip parents parents one two three four four tables for the play parents So guys, ang paglalagay ko po doon sa aking uh, homemade na tomato sauce ay by bat, ba, batch, bat, batch by batch. Hindi ko po siya bibiglain muna kasi uh, uh, hindi po magkasya sa aking kaserola or sa aking kawali. So, uh, I'm going to put my homemade tomato sauce or tomato paste batch by batch first because uh, there's no space here at the moment so what I'm going to do is like this first 
that's it for now and then I can add another another more later and we are going to uh, simmer this for at least uh, 45 minutes 45 to 50 minutes yes I recall So, uh, pwede rin natin tatakpan ko lang po ito. Let's cover it. Let's cover it, guys. So, occasionally, while we are simmering it, we have to stir it from time to time. Halo-haloin lang po natin siya from time to time. We have to stir to uh, Stare it, staring it from time to time, guys. While we are simmering it for 45 to 50 minutes. So let's cover it back again and let's continue to simmer it. So para po, para po sa aking patatas, lalagyan ko lang po ang aking acerola ng tubig. I am putting a water in this cup, in this large large casserole to boil my potato so about that much guys you can see and I am going to put it into the stove on a flat on a high heat so uh, nakikita po ninyo na ang aking pong kasirola ay nandiyan po sa kalan at uh, naka nasa high heat po ito uh, you can see guys that I put the water into my large casserole or pot and it's on a high heat on a, on a flame on a high heat uh, I am only waiting for it, the water to get boiled, and I'm going to put my potato in there. So, pakukuluan ko lang po ito na aking tubig sa kasirola. Pag kumulo na po siya, saka ko po ilalagay yung aking pong mga patatas. So, ito, ipapakita ko sa inyo. Guys, I'm going to show you. I'm still simmering the men's beef. But occasionally, I am stirring it occasionally. So, uh, madali lang naman po itong uh, recipe na to. Guys, this type of recipe is not difficult. It's very, very easy. Just uh, follow the global cuisine. Follow the global cuisine style, Hong Kong, and you can uh, do it. Ang ginawa ko lang, ang pagkakaiba lang nito kasi, nung una, kung napanood ninyo yung aking unang video na, na ano, na, na, na i-upload ko na sa YouTube, ay uh, sa isang maliit ko lang nalalagyan yun, in ano, binake, pero this time, ang ginawa ko, dinamihan ko na siya kasi uh, paborito kasi ito ng aking uh, ng aking husband at saka ng aking son so um, if you can see if you uh, watch the the first uh, cottage pie that I made and upload uploaded it already on a YouTube I made there is just only a small, uh, a semi small portions or medium portion, but this time, this time I make it a uh, large butts. So 
so that um, because this is the this type of recipe is uh, my husband and my son favorites so uh, I make it into a large batch as I said earlier on na you can uh, if you can't finish it you can put it inside the fridge put it into nice uh, nice container and cover it with cling film and you can reheat it especially to those uh, busy people they don't have time to cook at home so all they have to do is just to uh, reheat it so um, kung hindi naman po ninyo ito maubos syempre sa dahil, dahil marami ganun except kung malaking uh, uh, big family ganun kasi maramihan na po ito eh, na ginawa ko eh ngayon ang gagawin ko lang po dito ay ilalagay ko lang po siya yung leftover niya sa sa ano po rep po refrigerator tap sa pinakamalamig na compartment po ta lagay lang po natin sa uh, maayos na lalagyan na container lagyan po lang po natin ng cling film takpan natin tapos uh, iinit-initin lang po ninyo sa oven niyo kung may oven kayo kung po Kung wala naman po kayong oven, pwede naman po sa kawali, initin po ninyo. Wala pong ano po yun doon. Wala pong problema as long that you put it inside the fridge. So, I am, uh, as you can see guys, I am stirring it occasionally while I'm simmering it. And my, um, the other, uh, the the walk you can see guys that's for my potatoes to boil the, the water is not boiling yet hindi pa po mainit ang tubig yan sa kasirola po na yan na may tubig kasi diyan ko po pakukuluan ang aking mga patatas so guys as you can see that i already um uh pour all the my homemade tomato sauce I already pour it in there so you can see that red in there that's the one inilagay ko na po yung aking ginawang homemade na tomato sauce dito po sa aking cottage pie ayan po nakikita po ninyo yan na po yun siya Inilagay ko na po siya ngayon. And let's continuously to simmer it. And then, uh, we have to uh, uh, occasionally stir, stirring, stirring it occasionally. So guys, uh, makikita niyo po na nag-uumpisa ng kumulo yung aking tubig sa kasirola. You can see that uh, the water in my large pot, the, the water is boiling now, starting to boiling. So I'm going to put the, the potato one by one. It's much better that don't put it in the middle. Yes, put it on the side. It's much safer for you. Because if you put it into the middle, and then it will, it will splash into your face. And that is a... Uh, quite hot the the water so sa gilid niyo pag ganyan pong kumukulo ang tubig pag naglalagay po tayo ng patatas sa gilid lang po ang paglagay kasi kung ilalagay niyo po sa gitna baka may possibility po, may tendency po yon na matalsikan po yung mukha ninyo eh mainit na tubig po ito eh Kaya sa gilid lang po talaga ang paglagay ng patatas po. So, I'm waiting for it to get it, uh, get it done. So, I'm bo gonna boil my potato until it changes to tender. Pakukuluan ko lang po ang aking patatas dyan hanggang po sa lumambot po siya. Normally, um, sa mga, sa, alimbawa po sa Pilipinas or uh, the other country, ganon. Uh, 
wala pong mabilhan ng ganitong fresh na ano na rosemary. So, yung pong ano, yung pong dried rosemary, kung wala po kayong mabilhan na fresh rosemary, yung dried rosemary po, pwede naman po 'yun. So, wala naman pong kaibahan 'yun eh, yung dried or fresh. Pero mayroon naman po kami kaming kasing nabibilhan dito na uh, fresh rosemary so I prepared to use this instead of a dried rosemary but you can also use the dried rosemary if you can't buy the fresh one so that is uh, guys na um, if you can't uh, in your local supermarket if you can't buy any uh, fresh rosemary from this pocket like pocket like that mm -hmm. If you can't buy the fresh one, use the dried rosemary. It's okay. It doesn't make any difference. It's just the same. The thing is, uh, we can buy it here in Hong Kong, the fresh rosemary. But if you uh, don't have a fresh rosemary in your local supermarket, where they sell the imported products but they don't have it and it's failed, use the dried rosemary. It's fine. Or you can use some other... Um, some other herbs apart from the rosemary yes that is for smells easy so ito na guys uh, i'm going to put uh, one sachet just one sachet of uh, seasoning isang sachet lang po And then stir it slowly. Kasi uh, baka siya ay tumilapon. Just stir it slowly. Haloin lang po natin ang dahan-dahan kasi po nakita po ninyo na ang kawali ko po kasi maliit lang. Hindi pa kasya sa 2.5 kilos ng uh, minced beef. So this is it. I have to stir it uh, very carefully. Then I, I am still continuously uh, simmering it until until it uh, until all this liquid, guys. This liquid will be gone. Uh, not totally, but uh, reduce. We have to reduce the. The, this liquid there's a lot of liquid at the moment so we have to reduce it once that it's reduced then it's perfect then it's about time to move to uh, to um, do the next move and I'm going to show it to you later so keep on uh, staring it occasionally So guys, um, my potato is already done. So I am going to strain it. So I'm going to put the strainer in here in my wash basin. And I need to open up the cold running water. Bubuksan po natin na ating cold running water para po hindi masira yung pipes natin sa ilalim kasi gawa lang po ng plastic yon yung drain yung ano na yon. So, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to drain the potato because my potato is already done. Luto na po ang aking patatas at aking pong i-strain po dito. Ngayon habang ibubuhos ko po yung mainit na tubig diyan with potato, Bubuksan ko po yung malamig na tubig dito sa gripo para naman po yung ating pong drain sa ilalim kasi gawa lang po ng plastic yon ay huwag pong masira. So, can you see guys? It's my potatoes.
and that's it. I'm going to mash it up. So this is my uh, boiled potato, as you can see in there. What I am going to do is uh, to uh, put the butter, all sort of butter. I'm going to put the butter in there, about one. and three three tablespoon of butter guys kasi um medyo marami rami siya eh they're quite a bit After uh, I put the butter, as you saw it, we have to mash it like this. Totally mash. Dodorogin lang po natin siya. So, meron po kayong masher. Kung wala naman po kayong masher sa inyo pong bahay, Pwede naman pong food processor ang gamitin ninyo. Or kaya po yung uh, tinuro ko na yung palo-palo na babalutin ninyo yung uh, patatas na malambot na sa ano sa kitchen towel. Tapos uh, sa kanya siya papalo-paloin. Pwede rin po yung ganun. Mano-mano. Tapos, uh, ang gagawin ko lang dito ay lalagyan ko siya ng uh, cold cream milk. So, I am going to put a uh, cold cream milk. All sort of cold cream milk po pwede. So, lalagyan ko ito ng mga one. As in, marami-rami po ito na aking patatas. They are quite uh, a lot of bit there. So, I'm going to put uh, 5 tablespoons of full cream milk. And then, um, a sprinkle of salt. Just a sprinkle. That's enough. And then, a nutmeg. Ito po yun. Nutmeg po. Ground nutmeg. Kung wala naman po kayong mabiling ma uh, ground nutmeg or whatever, huwag nyo lang kung lagyan ng nutmeg. Okay lang po yun. Pwede rin po yun. If you can't buy any nutmeg in your local supermarket where they sell the imported product, just forget it. Don't put the nutmeg. It's fine. And then continuously to mash it up like that I'm I'm going to sprinkle it sprinkle it with ground black pepper pamintang durog po lalagyan ko lang po ng sprinkle lang konti lang So ito po ang aking pamintang durog this is my black ground pepper guys I have I still have to uh Mailed it like that. Just a little. Don't put too much. That's fine. Enough. Wag pong marami. Konti lang ang ilag ilagay ninyong pamintang durog. And then, nakikita po ninyo na this is totally mashed up. Di po ba? It's totally mass up, guys. Yes? So, what I am going to do is to put it into the container. 
along with my cottage pie yes I'm going to show it to you what is my next move so I wanted to uh, show you the something guys that um, as we already um, this is a uh, getting um, getting um, reduced the liquid right na ano na po siya nagre-reduce nagre-reduce na po yung kanyang uh, liquid ng uh, ng cottage pie ko so pwede na po nating tanggalin ang ating bay leaves na nilagay diyan tatanggalin ko na po itong bay leaves Pati rin po yung rosemary na nilagay ko. Tanggalin na po natin yan. Hindi na po natin kailangan yan. We're taking that out, guys. We don't need that. Bay leaves. We don't need the bay leaves and the rosemary sprigs. So, we're taking that out. So, tatanggalin na po natin yon. Alisin na po natin dito. Like this. Can you see? We're, we can take it out now. Because the liquid of the cottage pie it's already has been reduced a lot so what I am going to do with it I'm going to transfer it into the tray into the baking tray and I'm going to show it to you guys how, how to do it so as you can see here that uh, I already pour the um, the minced beef into the oven uh, baking tray what I am going to do next now is to scope my potatoes in here nakikita po ninyo na ang aking pong mince beef ay nilagay ko na po sa aking baking baking tray tapos po uh, ini-scoop ko na po ang aking pong patatas mash uh, mash potato sa top po niya and this is ready to bake Kaya lang po kailangan ay ayusin naman natin. So, it's all done guys. Scoop lang natin siya dito. We have to scoop it on top. Make it balance. Should be balanced. what you can see on the camera is that how it uh, should be so my casserole is empty so next ayusin natin ng konti ang camera para makita ninyong mabuti kung ano yung gagawin ko um, we have to put it on balance, as I said, on balance, uh, not too thick on the, the on the the other side, and should be all the fillings, the topping should be all in balance in there. Pwede rin po tayong gumamit, or we can use a pork yes. we can use a pork guys yes pork tinidor po pwede po tayong gumamit ng tinidor ganitohin lang po natin siya para mai uh, spread natin ng pantay yung uh, yung pong uh, mash up na potato na ginawa po na ginawa ko earlier on I, as you saw it already All 
you have to do is just to uh, it's so simple just do it like that this is a really big batch <laughs> Inilagay ko na po talaga siya sa um, uh, oven tray. I put it on a oven tray guys because this is quite, this is already a, a big batch. So that's the reason why. So make sure that uh, they were all filled in. Each side of it. Like that. And... I already prepared it. What I am going to do next, so naganyan na po natin siya, di po ba? I grated a, a cheddar cheese. They were about two and a half cup of uh, uh, mature cheddar cheese, guys. So, ang gagawin lang po natin, ay lalagyan po natin yung ibabaw. We have to fill in the top, the toppings with a cheddar, with a grated cheddar cheese. And we are going to uh, bake it in inside the oven for about 180 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. So let's put in that, that there. And that's it. Ganyan lang po kasimple. Simpleng simpleng recipe po ito. Pero talagang uh, pang masa. Magugustuhan po ito ng mga foreigner. Kung meron kayong uh, uh, family na ang asawa niya ay uh, foreigner. I'm sure he will love this type of recipe I assure you that so this is it guys this is ready to bake inside the oven for I'm going to show you the Fahrenheit first so this is all done I filled in with a uh, with the cheddar cheese my hands is clean of course so I am going to put it into a 180 Fahrenheit and this is my oven. Yes, that's a bake. So what I am going to do is I am going to put that uh, cottage pie inside there, the oven. And I am going to bake it for 30 minutes until the, uh, the toppings, uh, it changed to uh, golden golden color so I'm going to show you guys so can you see my cottage pie is in there and I am going to close it now and I am coming back there after 30 minutes to take it out because it must be a golden color on the, on, on the toppings so for making the gravy, we need the following regions like uh, two, two tablespoons of uh, cornstarch flour and then oxo cube, just one cube and one tablespoon of the besto, beef besto. You can find this too in, a, in your local supermarket where they sell in a the area is in the um, uh, where they sell the spices dried goods and things like that so guys one of one cubes of um, of uh, oxo oxo beef cubes and one tablespoon of this besto and two tablespoon of cornstarch i'm just keep repeating myself and also two cups of this 
this is not an ordinary water this is come from the potatoes where I boil the potatoes in there so this is it and then now I mix them all up and it becomes like this so this is the proper gravy the proper gravy of the cottage pie the cottage pie where uh, most of the British people in England they love the, the gravy into uh, their meal they love gravy so the, the gravy that I am making is not that thick it's not too uh, fluffy it's not too um, it's not too runny it's just right so this is my gravy for my cottage pie it's all from those simple ingredients guys it's so easy so I am so guys <coughs> sorry for, so guys I'm going to show you how to make the gravy yes okay so one of this one of these cubes this is a oxo oxo cubes oxo beef cubes so we're going to put one in there I'm already crushing it like not right now and this besto beef besto or if you don't have that you can use this this is for gravy I suggest just one tablespoon and one two tablespoon of cornstarch flour yes and then the potato where I boiled it in there this water I boiled the potato there earlier on you 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 saw you saw it I'm going to scoop two two cups of vegetable stock from the potato from there and I am going to stir it like this you have to stir it thoroughly until all the ingredients has been all mixed up together Yan po ang pagawa, pagagawa ng gravy. Simpleng-simple lang naman po yan. So, ang kinanabasan po niya ay ipakakita ko po sa inyo. Ang kinalabasan po niya ayan na po ang aking gravy. Yan po na, yan, yan na po yun. Yung uh, gravy, yung mga ingredients na pinaghalo ko ito na po yun ito na po ang proper gravy para po sa cottage pie so uh, it's not too thick it's not too runny it's just right so uh, sa ngayon po ay tinaasan ko na ang kanyang Fahrenheit ng aking oven sa 250 na po siya ngayon at ayan pong kanyang itsura sa so, mga ilang minutes na lang po ito ay uh, hahanguin ko na po ito sa oven kasi hindi pa in, yung middle po hindi pa po masyadong uh, golden color so let's close it guys I just want to, to inform you guys that I put my oven into 250 Fahrenheit right now in just only a few minutes I am going to take out my cottage pie because the, the one the one in the middle the one in the middle is not 
is not done yet so as you can see it guys that um, um, it's not done it's not totally golden yet the one in the middle so I'll give it a few minutes and then I'll take it out so guys this is my um, uh, cottage pie it's already done and I switch up the oven they are off what I am doing right now is I am just only let it rest there for a few minutes my cottage pie and I am going to before I take it out so everyone this is my cottage pies and this is my homemade gravy please don't forget to subscribe to my channel global cuisine Hong Kong for more and more recipes and um, I would like to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on my next video guys